<laughs> I love how it makes music. That makes me happy. This is the Bamboo Lab A1. And not only did I get the Bamboo Lab A1, I got the Bamboo Lab A1 combo. Let's get it open. Oh my. The little claws to hold on to your filament. I like that. AMS holder. Toolkit. Power cord. This kind of looks like a diaper. Do not grab or press on the X axis. Don't grab that. Grab this and this. It's heavier than I expected. Wow. Okay. Wow. Remove protective film before use. We gotta install the build plate. So we're gonna remove this film. Ooh, that's, that's a little tight. Got that. Bamboo textured PEI plate. It's pretty serious. Whoa, it's magnetic. Goes on. You line it up right there at the end, like that. And then you just kind of let go. Boop. Now the instructions say to turn it over and to remove four screws. So there's four screws currently holding this build plate in place. We want to remove those using the H2 Allen key. We'll get into our little toolbox here. One, two, three, four. And they even have it highlighted. That's nice. Two, three. There's four screws. And this can be set back down. Now that the screws are removed, the Y axis can move left to right or front and back. We're going to take the X and Z axis, place it right here, then take the bed diagonally, put it in between set it down in the notch. Now that's together. Now we're gonna remove the zip ties. Now that the zip ties are removed, we're going to turn the 3D printer around, push the built plate all the way forward, and remove this cover. So it kind of pops up and then pulls out. We're going to install 10 of these ST3-23 screws and the nice thing is each spot where it goes is highlighted. I'm really impressed so far by the overall design of this 3D printer. It's incredibly high quality at a really affordable price. Don't forget these screw holes all the way up here at the front. They're kind of hidden. You have to move the bed back and that reveals two more screw holes. Now that all the screws are in place, I can put the Y cover back on. It's now saying to lay the 3D printer on its side, so hopefully I can do that safely. I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard as recommended to keep it from scratching. Be careful, your Y plate will probably move when you do this step. And, oh wow. Okay, well it does hold itself in place, but just be careful with it. We're gonna plug in the motors now for the X-axis and intruder. Take that guy, put it right in that slot. And this USB cord plugs right in into there. White labels for the camera. And then this one right here would be the Z motor. And then plug it into Z port. Now we can stand the printer back up. We're going to install the booger wiper. We're going to use the purge wiper screw to install the wiper here. Now we can put together the AMS system. Take the AMS stand and contraption. When you put the AMS on the AMS stand, make sure that your cord is facing upwards. 
The AMS stand is held together with four screws. These are the spool holders that we can now put onto the AMS system. Take notice to the colors on them, yellow and green, which corresponds with the color at the end of the shaft here. So yellow spool goes onto this shaft. At this point, I'm gonna put the 3D printer and the AMS on the workbench where I want it to stay. Let's move the bamboo lab over. You'll notice that there are two long hoses and two short hoses. The long hoses go to the two spools that are farther away from the 3D printer, okay? Right here. This is where the long hoses go. Three and four. The short hoses connect to one and two. There doesn't seem to be any order in how they connect to the extruder. So just plug them in. Then connect this black wire up here to the hose organizer. The AMS can then be connected to the back of the A1 3D printer. The A1 3D printer has a camera with this little cover on it right there. And then this little piece of plastic. Go ahead and remove that. Before turning on the 3D printer, I'm gonna make sure that the bed can move backwards and forwards all the way and not hit anything. But turn on the 3D printer and see if it works. Oh boy, it's turning on. Unleash your creativity. Start. <laughs> English. North America. Connect to Wi-Fi. Select Wi-Fi. We're gonna do the calibration for better printing quality, which will take about 12 minutes. Sure, start. It's moving. The 3D printer, you see it right there? It's moving. Oh God, maybe this should be closer. 50 millimeters. Hey Siri, how many inches are in 50 millimeters? 50 millimeters is 1.97 inches. Okay, so apparently this has to be pretty close. It's vibrating the whole table. It's making noises. I found out that this arm right here is if you don't have the AMS, you use this arm, this piece right here, to put on a single spool at a time. So I won't be needing this since I have the AMS. It's done calibrating, so now we're gonna put some filament on and do our first print. Here we go. I really hope I don't jam my brand new 3D printer with this wood filament. That would be bad. Oh, it's working. The wood filament is coming out. That's exciting. Oh, it even smells like burnt wood. I think I'm gonna make a benchy using the wood filament. <laughs> I love how it makes music. That makes me happy. <laughs> it's like it's dancing. Now I can get a live feed of the 3D printer from my phone. I'm really happy to have that feature. It also tells me the percent of the print, the temperature of the nozzle, and the temperature of the build plate. That's great. Oh, here we go! It's like race car mode. I've never used this filament in my life, and so far it seems to be going well. Knock on wood. It's almost done, and it's been 15 minutes. It's made with wood PLA. This is cool. I got myself a root beer while I was waiting. My first 3D printer was called a Solidoodle. It was made out of a lot of acrylic that was laser cut. I don't think they build them anymore. It was pretty cool. That was like 10 years ago already. Wild. That was over 10 years ago. Wow. This 3D printer moves faster than my eyes can see. That's weird, like it'll be in one spot and it'll be over here and you don't even see it move. It moves faster than, it's done, it's done. Okay, so I guess we take off this hot plate. Maybe I should let it, oh, got it. 
<laughs> Look at that. It's a boat. It 3D printed a boat in 15 minutes out of wood, wood PLA. It even smells like wood. There it is. Boop, 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 boop. That's cool. This is awesome. This is good. This is really cool. I call that a success. I'm really happy with this Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. I'm super excited to be using it between having multiple spools to change from, the speed in which it 3D prints, being able to 3D print objects right from my cell phone, having the live camera. I mean, what else? Uh, the noise cancellation. This 3D printer is incredible. And again, they're not paying me to say this. I'm just super excited to have this product. Really affordable product, incredible engineering, really well made. Uh, so it, it's, it's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I'm looking forward to making more long form content. And I hope you follow along with that. Uh, my goal is to be an inventor. That's always been my dream. And I enjoy sharing that experience here on YouTube. This is where I've learned most of my skills. So if I can bring those back to the YouTube community, um, that'll be really cool. I hope you uh, like this video. Comment below if you have any questions or comments, something you think is cool. Um, you know, start a conversation down there in the comments. I love to reply to you guys. And also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can see when I post future videos and we can stay in touch. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you enjoyed. Boop, 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 boop.